my life. I'm on a spiritual journey with the most high. It's a new day and a new life. He opened my eyes. I can show you more than tell you. This is my Okay guys, so this is the finished product of the chicken and vegetables that Janet made. It is so delicious, so I just wanted you to get the final product because I, I think I showed you why she was cooking. So, delicious and it's healthy and it's not too many calories and it's very, um, you know, a lot of vegetables and the protein chicken. Okay guys, so you get an idea of what we're doing, getting our body and our minds and our spirits together, wilderness ready. I pray that you join us and keep up with the channel. Shalom. Yeah. Down in the Cajun Creole country. Okay, we got the fireplace going. It's all right. And uh, it's nice and warm in here. And the food was delicious. Uh -huh. yeah, that's how they cook it down there. What, what is a Creole? Uh, what was that? Cajun? Mm -hmm. They always yes. cook it with a little... Song to make it look a little soupy like, so yes. you can dip your bread. Mm -hmm. What was it, Cajun, sister? Creole. Was that a Creole, Creole dish? Creole. 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 Now, and what was it again? Spinach? It was a, um, spinach chicken soup. Mm -hmm. Huh? Spinach yeah. chicken soup? Mm -hmm. I made some down there in the, in the Petra. Yeah. Uh, he was saying, Golly, this is good. That's why he's calling. That's why he's, he's she calling. got the Bedway man hooked on her oh, Caucasian oh, food. Oh, oh. Oh, this is good. Oh, mm -hmm. see. Well, we at the very end. Caucasian food. And so. that's why he called me tonight. So I ain't there doing it. Uh -huh. So as yeah. you can see, we that's tow it up. Okay. So until next time, guys. Praise the higher by Hashem Yushaya, Wakadash Wak, making your way out to Jordan, but we're going to be in the wilderness, y'all. Okay? Don't even try to get, get it twisted. We're going to be in the wilderness. But for now, while we're preparing, the Most High is blessing, and we just praise Him. Shalom! Shalom, sis. Shalom. Shalom. Thank you for the food. Bless the cook. <laughs> Shalom, Israel. I wanted to introduce you to my new cat. His name is Obadiah. And yes, he's a Gentile. <laughs> <laughs> but Gentiles will be saved too, Obadiah. I always like that name, Obadiah. And when I found out the real meaning behind who Obadiah was, he was a prophet that prophesied that eat the fall of Edom. So how ironic for me to have a Gentile cat. <laughs> you know? But praise the high, he's so sweet. And look, he is out cold. And he's an older cat, and I had to I adopted him. So I just want to introduce you to Obadiah, Obi. You'll be getting to see and meet him soon. Shalom. Okay, Shalom is real. This is a Sakana. And I just wanted to show you guys how you feel. Put the gas into this heater so I you know earlier the guy brought the gas okay and you get one of these um these squeeze uh, gym jiggers <laughs> I don't know but all you have to do is just pump the gas into here and it's basically easy but in case somebody was wondering and they, they use these in homes they use this out in the tents and that's one of the reasons why the Most High said it's going to be a prepared place. Because there's everything is set up for us to live in the wilderness peacefully. When you come down, you'll see how the Bedouins live and stuff like that. They have all these things in their homes. So now look at this meter. You can see the meter. It's not quite full yet. Won't full, but it's almost getting there. Okay, so we're going to keep pumping until it's full. But see, they, things like this is what they use every day. And most people live it, move it, use it in their homes. You have to get, um, you know, used to the smell because it's like carbon dioxide or whatever. But if you keep a door or a window cracked, you know, it, it's pretty safe. And you just keep this going. And now I think it's full.
Okay, you see how it, it the the red thing there? It's uh, full. Let me show you. It's the red meter. It's it's over here full. It's on full. You see empty and full. Yeah. So now it's full. So now you take this out. <gasps> oh, see that's what you don't want to happen. I did it wrong. I don't know. Hold on, guys. See. I'm glad I'm videotaping this. So this is what you don't do. <laughs> but because I was trying to... Oh, see? Okay, so you was trying to... I almost filled it, I think. Okay, let's see. Oh, but it's, it's good. It's good. It's not bad. Yeah, so you have to take some paper napkin because this stuff is highly flammable. Oh. You know, this is gas. So you want to make sure, so what I would do in this instance, I would get some paper towel, okay? So you get some paper towel and you wipe everything off. So first, I'm going to wipe off this thing I got it sitting in there. I'm going to take this out and wipe it down, okay? And get all the gas and stuff off of it. Hold on. Okay, so I'm going to wipe this down. Okay. And then, I'm going to soak up all the excess oil, oil you off, off and around the thing, because this is where you're going to light it as well. So you're going to make sure there's no oil you in this area. You understand? You're going to get all that excess oil up. So that when you light a match, it doesn't, um, you know, blow up in your face or anything. Okay? So you can see this. So I got all the excess oil up off the floor. Everything might have to need some, I might have to get some more. But so you just want to be very careful with this stuff. It's highly flammable. Make sure. So I'm kind of glad this happened so you get to see. That, um, and it's still it's not all the way to the tippy tippy top. This blue, I could take this off anyway, you see. This is when I first bought it. Because this one, I don't know if this is a new one. I don't think so. I just had that on like that. Okay, so now it's done. So now you're ready to light it. So I'm going to put the cat back on. Okay, and I'm going to take it into the kitchen so you um, you can see how it's lit. Okay, so I'll be right back. And you also make sure that you cover this. And you see, I'll, I'll use about half of it already. And you put this in a safe place. And I put this back on over the top. Oh, flinging the gas all over the place. Okay. Like this. And now we're going to go into the kitchen. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now here we are. So now you got the gas in and everything, and you see this little liver here. You can pick it up to see. And you're going to turn this knob. You're going to turn this knob, and it's going to bring the filter up. And so it's all the way up. You just turn it, and you should be. Okay, so when you lift this up, you should be able to see that black filter. You see that black filter there? Right here, I put my finger there. Because it's can't, you see, this is a black filter right here. Right here, with my fingers on it. Because you, it's kind of dark, so you can't see it, but look. See right there? That's the filter. That It's like a brush. So that's what you're going to light. And once you light, you're going to see that it's going to catch on really fast. So hold on. I'm going to get the fire. Okay, I'm going to get the fire. Here we go. Here's the fire. And see how this thing on the light really fast, see? How it lit really fast. I don't know if you can see it. All around, it's going to catch you on. So, okay. So, yep, so there it is. You're holding that thing up, so now it lights all the way around. And that's it, and then you just close it down. And it's lit. So this is it. And this is what most of the people use. 
in their tents, even in their homes. You know, most of the Jordanians use it because it's the least expensive method to to um, heat your home. And you get used to the smell at first, and it's not really dangerous. You just got to be careful when you're operating it. So you can turn it down a little bit. And then that's it. Okay, so I'll show you more stuff that I have and stuff that we can use in the wilderness. So you see the other one over there. This is the other one that I have. Okay, so basically you'll be warm in your tent with these things. And the gas is not that expensive. That whole thing oh, is kind of heavy though. The gas, that whole container that I bought was 10 JD. See that um, thing of gas? Hold on. Okay. This thing here of gas, full, is, was about 10 JDs. So, and it lasts you maybe about four days, four or five days, if you don't burn it like all day, all night. So, basically, that's the most, that's the least expensive way to heat your home. Okay? Just so you can get an idea. Now, you know, if, you're, if it's really, really cold, then you have to, you know, it, it, it can get quite costly, I guess, 10 JD every four or five days. But you shouldn't really burn it day in, day out. You, you heat up the room, it gets warm, you cut it off. And then you cut it back on. Okay? So I just want you to know. Okay? Shalom. Praise the higher. Bahashim Yishaya. Wafadashawat. The fruit in, is looking lovely. Don't forget to join us on the Wilderness Workout, guys. We're eating healthy and getting our, our lives in order. Working on the mind, body, and spirit in Yishaya's name. Shalom. Shalom Israel, Sister Kana, and Aqua Janice in the kitchen is making her secret bernays. And she actually don't like nobody watching her as she make it. And she won't give away the secret recipe. Because when I tell you this stuff is delicious, guys, it's the bomb. So she's making some more, praise the most high. And this is amazing. So this is how she do it. She got the rolling pin. She got. She already made the dough. I should have watched her, but I didn't. But we can look at some of the ingredients she got here. Money and maybe we can see. Uh, so it looks like some, you know, sugar, flour, milk, some cream. I see a lemon over there. Egg, some flour. So these are the panes. And let's see her over here. Yes, this is the secret. So she's making them. Woohoo! Praise the most high. <laughs> she's doing this. So any um, adding remarks that you want to remark to your Benets? I know you don't want to give away the secret, but tell us a little bit about They're it. They're just delicious and they're made with love. <laughs> Praise the most That's high. Right. That's the most ingredient that we need. L-O-V-E, some love. Can't wait to love you guys. <laughs> well... She's not going to give away the secret, guys, so I guess we're going to have to just forget about it and try to catch her one day when she's in the kitchen making it, and I'm going to do it, okay? But we first can say all glory and praise to Ahayah Bahashim Mishaya, and we will tune in later. Shalom. Shalom. Let's go back over here. Come on, come on, come on. The bernets in the making. See, I never had bernet, and they told me about it because they, they're both from Louisiana side of town. See, I'm a New York, Brooklyn girl. We don't know nothing about this stuff. Even though we have like, uh, you know, country folk in our, you know, vicinity in Brooklyn, in the hood. But, you know, my mom, she didn't really know about no bananas. We never had that. So I'm just going to say all glory and praise to a higher. Talk to you later. Okay, Shalom. guys. Shalom. She finished her beignets and they are delicious. So, do you want to explain your, your uh, these are sweets, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, it's del a delic nice delicacies that you can enjoy. So, go ahead. Tell us all about it. 
<laughs> Actually, it's um, it's a dough that you make. You use two flours, and you add your flavoring and, mm -hmm. and your uh, other ingredients, and you wheat mm -hmm. meat it. Right? Knead it. Wheat it together, uh -huh. and you wheat it and wheat it, and then you let it sit mm -hmm. so it can rise, and then mm -hmm. after that, you just get your um, a flat surface, sprinkle of flour. Put the dough in there, get your mm -hmm. rolling pin, and roll it out, mm -hmm. and then you cut them out, and you deep fry them. Mm -hmm. And you put powdered sugar, but mm -hmm. me, I like to make a glaze mm -hmm. and powdered sugar. So you made the homemade glaze. It is yes. amazing, guys. It's lemon glaze. And it's a lemon uh, taste to it. Yes. I knew that yes, taste. It was it's so lemon. good. It's lemon zest mm -hmm. flavoring. Okay. And you take one of your beignets, you, mm -hmm. you dunk it, and you put it in the lemon, and you eat okay. it. So here it goes, guys. Well, I already have one, so I know they're the bomb, but I'm going to do it again. <laughs> and this then you dunk it in here. Yeah, it's my first time. I never had this before, and it's so delicious. And it's, it's simple, like it's not a lot, and uh, it's just bread. Like So this is a good, you know, treat on Shabbat. So we're going to have our desserts for the Shabbat. So it's delicious, guys. So I'm tearing them up. Um, they're really good. So, I just wanted to share this with you. Beignets, praise the high by Hashem Yeshaya. I hope you all have a blessed Shabbat because we're about sundown. It's going to be coming soon, so we're going to be we're going to be going into Shabbat. So I thank you so much, Sister Janet, Aquaf Janet. You're praise the higher and uh, bless you and bless the cook. Mm -hmm. And thank you again. Okay, we're gonna so make it with Janet's kitchen. She's gonna <laughs> she's gonna have a cooking show. Okay, shallow on. <laughs> Yum, yum. Mm -hmm. This is going to be my last one. <laughs> <laughs> they are so good. It's hard. It's hard, guys, to eat just one. Tear it up. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, you're missing it. Wish you was yeah, here. Crunchy. Yep. Wish you was here. Psych. <laughs> <laughs>